Welcome back to the garage guys. So talking about Friday's training, it has three parts. It has a real grunt work uh, feel to it and that's all right. That's not a pejorative term. We need to get out there and do just hard work every so often. Fairly non-technical hard work just to be clear on what grunt work is. So first part is going to be a squat and lunge complex. We've done this before. This exact same format actually. We're going to go every 230 for six rounds, we're gonna do five goblet squats. So hold on to this bell, like so. Five lunges, you can hold it in the same way. You can go contralateral, hold it in the opposite hand uh, relative to the leg with which you're stepping out. Um, and five on the right, okay? So only catch there is there's a two second pause for all three elements, which is really just two elements because we're doing two lunges, two lunge sets. So active pause at the bottom of your goblet squat for one 1,000, two 1,000, then stand up. Same thing with the lunge, albeit we're not going to go down to the ground because that would be kind of resting. We're going to hold it just off the ground, one 1,000, two 1,000, then step back, okay? Pretty straightforward, okay? Uh, next one, guys, it's going to be, we're going to do a similar format, but without any rest, okay? Because you get a lot of rest in that first part. This one, we're going to work through the full period, which happens to be two minutes. We're going to do six rounds every two minutes. We're going to do max dumbbell box step over, so that's holding on to a dumbbell, however you want, okay? Goblet style, suitcase style, front rack style. Stepping up and over something could be a box could be a bench in this case, just like so. Stand up, come back down, okay? Each time you step up and over, that's a rep. Can't really see my head on the on there. That's all right, though. Uh, I would expect about 15 to 20 step ups, moving at a pretty good pace there, okay? Um, rep is complete when your feet, both feet make contact on the other side of the floor. Next one is gonna be alternating dumbbell snatches. Ideally, by the way, you'll be using the same dumbbell or dumbbells for each of these today, although that might not be the case with the snatches. Um, you may need to change it a little bit. Um, so just going down to the floor, we know the range of motion standards coming up. You can switch either on the ground or you can switch in mid-air. Each rep counts. Again, something around 15 to 20 depending on how heavy you're going and how many breaks you need to take. Probably about 20 reps is a good target to shoot for, one every three seconds. They go a lot faster than that, but you might have to put it down halfway through. And then the last one, you're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells. Uh, you're gonna do 30 meters, which is about mm, 15 seconds of work at the most, depending on how heavy, it's more like 10 seconds of work. And you're gonna do as many trips as you can uh, for 30 meters in that two minute period, which is a lot, okay? So it goes two minutes step overs, two minutes snatches, two minutes farmer's carry, then back up to the top, just going from one to the next to the next, having fun with it. And that's really it, guys. Like I said, grunt work, none of those are too technical. The snatch, although a technical movement, generally the dumbbell snatches is, is fairly accessible. Last piece, Finishing off with more grunt work, and this one's a long one. So we're gonna grab a pair of heavy kettlebells or dumbbells or an object, um, whatever you have. So if you have like 70 pound kettlebells today, it'd be a great day for that. And we're gonna go for 400 meters, not for time. Just challenge yourself not to put it down, uh, or I should say to put it down as few times as possible. This is gonna take upward of 10 minutes, depending on how heavy you're going. It should be about a six to eight minute Generally, but it might be longer than that. All right, guys, that's today's training. Have fun with it. See you soon. Out.